On September 19, 2022, on the grand occasion of the United Nations Peace Day, the United Nations General Assembly officially opened in New York City, and the heads of about 150 countries gathered together. The newly elected president, Gustav Petro, went to the court square in Queens to hold a thank you meeting and give a speech to the Colombian residents and expatriates of the American community who supported his campaign and vote. Gustav Petro was born in Caribbean Savannah, rich in cotton and cattle. His father was a school teacher and his mother was a member of a nationalist political party. In his youth, Petro was very curious, often attended trade union meetings, and at the age of 17 joined a guerrilla unit with the aim of urbanism, nationalism, and social democracy. Despite coming from a left-wing group, Petro's personal experience makes his policies seem more moderate. Committed to the pursuit of harmonious development between countries, between different political parties, and between different classes of society. His policy advocates dialogue, emphasizing embracing with opponents, seeking reconciliation and ending violence, and advocates building consensus among different parties to achieve the peace that everyone dreams of. In his campaign platform, he proposed an overhaul of Colombia's economy to change its status as the most unequal country in the world. In his campaign, Petro promised to crack down on corruption, raise taxes on the rich and big business, build a social security system that benefits the lower income class, and negotiate peace with the rebel National Liberation Army, which is an organization recognized by the United States as a terrorist organization changing the previous government's strategy of combating drug crimes and related violence and taking care of the interests of cocoa farmers. It is worth noting that this thank you meeting invited celebrities from the political and business circles. One of the organizers, the Latin American Chamber of Commerce, especially invited Harmony Liu, a 16-year-old Asian-American high school student and a teenage ambassador for the Global Future Leaders Organization, briefly called GFLO, attended the welcome meeting on behalf of GFLO and Asian Americans, and also participated in one site interview as a reporter for the U.S. Congressional Television, becoming the youngest student representative and reporter in this meeting. As a young ambassador for the Global Future Leader, Harmony has always been actively concerned about the medical and educational issues of children in poor countries and regions around the world, especially the global environmental issues related to the sustainable development of all mankind, and has always insisted on her speaks for global environmental protection issues from the standpoint of young people. In 2021, she won the White House Volunteer Gold Award for her letter to the United Nations Department of Global Communication on the Hiroshima and wastewater incidents in Japan, and presented American young people to participate in the United Nations Climate Conference COP26 online speech. On June 5, 2022, on Environmental Protection Day, she once again represented American students in a speech at the United Nations Water Conservation Summit. As an ordinary high school student, Harmony has been passionate about writing since she was a child. She has always insisted on and is determined to convey the voice of teenagers through writing and express their concern and responsibility for social issues. Recently, one of her poems to encourage the will of teenagers was published by the famous American youth inspirational publisher, Empower Magazine. When the pandemic was severe in early 2021, Harmony Liu participated as a volunteer in charitable actions such as the Latin American Chamber of Commerce, Knockfield, and WHF donating 300,000 masks to Colombia. 
President Gustav Petrov's speech at the 77th United Nations General Assembly made innovative plan for the world peace, combating global warming, protecting Amazon's ecology, Columbia reform and construction, strengthening education and increasing the income of the poor. The dream of world harmony and human peace needs to be promoted and realized from generation to generation. I would like to thank Gustav Petro, the organizer of the New York Welcome Party, for inviting Harmony Liu, a young woman with both American nationality and Asian blood heritage, to participate. Yes, let her convey the friendly voice of harmony and peace. During the event, Harmony Liu interviewed Frank Garcia, president of Latin American Chamber of Commerce, on behalf of Congress Network Television. Congratulations again to Mr. Gustav Petro on his election as a new president of Colombia. Pray for world peace. At the same time, I also sincerely wish Harmony Liu's academic progress that she can learn excellent grades and make outstanding achievements in the aspect of harmony and environmental protection that she has been concerned about.